What's up everyone? In this KiCad tutorial we're going to be converting this schematic that we made in the last video into a, a PCB, a circuit board. But there's a few steps first that need to happen. Um, the first thing is we need to create something called a net list. And a net list pretty much associates um, all of like what it, it says what pins are connected together so in the net list there might be a spot that says um, the 15 volts and this pin of R1 and this pin of R3 are all connected together that's one net a second net would be this one this one this one and that are all one net and the netlist is just a standard format that can be exported from the uh, schematic editor and imported into the PCB editor program. Now the only thing we have to do to create the netlist is just make sure our annotations look good and go ahead and hit the generate net. It can export a few different formats. There's one for like a SPICE simulator, but we're just going to use PCB New, which is the um, PCB editor that ships with KiCad. It, it is part of KiCad. Go ahead and generate and stick it in the same folder. Now you don't have to open that file, you probably never would have to, but I am going to open it just because I'm curious and I want to see and show you what a netlist file actually looks like. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, but I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom after everything's defined and we see that there's a list of nets and let's say in this net code 3 we have um, Q1 pin 1 and R4 pin 1 and it's saying everything in this net is connected together I want to go back to the schematic and see if that's really what we see Q1 and R4 so this is Q1 and R4 and there you go it's talking about that net right there it's a lot easier looking at the schematic of course but I just thought it was interesting how the computer stores the information for the net list but we don't need that we're not quite ready to take it into a circuit board yet because the next thing we need to do is associate the schematic symbols with a physical footprint, a part um, that should be used to lay out the circuit board. Because obviously for one resistor, there's maybe 10 different packages that a resistor could, you could buy a resistor in. We'll hit this button. It says um, run CVPCB. That's the program that KiCad uses to make a one-to-one -one association between the symbol and the physical layout or the footprint of the part. It's taking its good old time. It says there were some errors loading libraries maybe. Honestly, it looks like a bunch of stuff that we're not using. So I'm just going to assume that these errors are not caused by something that we did. Who knows? It, it could end up breaking everything, but maybe it won't. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Here, you know what? Okay, 
there's a bunch going on here but I would first direct your attention to this column in the center where it has a one J1 is asking us what physical part should we use for J1 now if we look at our schematic J1 and J2 and J3 are two pin or one by two connectors I think header pins will be fine so let's go with a what um let's just go with a one millimeter pitch uh, one by two header double click on it you can see it moved us down to the next one and after the colon it, it put the name of the thing we selected I'm gonna use the same um, header for all three connectors alright now for the transistor there's a ton of different types of transistor packages I'm gonna use the default let's go with hmm I'm gonna pick a surface mount resistor just a little tiny guy for all my resistors so I probably won't be able to solder this together by hand but that's okay it's just for demonstration oh, now you have to actually save what you did so check through this list I don't have that many parts but if I did I might have to scroll up and down and make sure that everything after the colon is filled in with something I'm going to go ahead and save that guy and we should be done with CBPCB it is now time to start the PCB new uh, is the name of the program there we okay this is PCB new now you'll notice that none of our um, parts are here that's because we have to read in the netlist but I realized before we import the netlist we actually need to regenerate the netlist so after you run CVPCB that's the time to generate the netlist and I'm gonna take a look at it real quick and just see if anything changed and there you go okay so now all of them have a footprint for each component you don't have to open this up and check but again I'm just curious and I'm being thorough now we can go back to PCB hit the net button this time we are importing the net list from the default location in that folder is fine and I'm not even going to change any of the settings here just hit read current net list and that looks pretty good if any red shows up in the messages box you'll want to make sure that you didn't forget to associate any of the components with CPB, uh, C, CVPCB that's not the best name in the world in my opinion but anyway associate your footprints and then regenerate the netlist and hopefully that fixes it it will put all of your components in one huge stack and that honestly can be annoying to grab and move everything but a computer's not smart enough to know how to lay out the circuit board by itself and to be honest 
we're probably going to be a little bit picky how we do it anyway. So we're going to move everything. First, I'm just going to space it all out. I'm going to use the G key, which is grab. G for grab. I really do like the hot keys. Ooh, that is a mess, but you know what? We got everything properly imported into the PCB editor. So I'm gonna call it a day, and or at least for this video, we'll stop here, and in the next video, we'll get into uh, a more orderly arrangement of these components and actually run some wires to uh, between all the pads. All right, but until then, see you next time. Thanks for watching.